combat in a second here. So you stick right with us here at Quarters Arcade Bar. No, so say you'll be right back in just a moment. I'm just so confused when that when uh, Sub Zero does that uh, corner combo when he sets up the uh, Arctic Trap, and he does the uh, slide. What's that? Did you take my uh, USB cord? Oh, I used my own USB cord. Yeah, I got some my owns right here. It looks like when you slide into that Arctic trap, especially for that corner combo that just happened, it always looks like he's getting hit. Or it looks like he's getting hit, but he's actually taking no damage. I don't know why it's like that. It's just so weird. All right, I think I got, we got our homeboy Baraka player back on for our next set. next set of games. If you guys like what you're seeing, uh, uh, we still got plenty of other uh, Mortal Kombat left, including uh, Street Fighter V and Tekken coming up uh, for the rest of the night. Don't be afraid to shout us out on Twitter. <coughs> no, I myself, uh, he plays... Uh, he plays... Uh, Marauder Baraka. I myself uh, play V2, uh, the one with the spine burst. Uh, that one has no combos really, not in the uh, conventional way most Marauder or uh, Berserker uh, Barakas will do their combos. But how often we stream our locals? Uh, for this local, I believe we stream it every time. And this local happens every time uh, once a month. If I recall correctly, the 16th of every month, I believe, if I am remembering correctly. We'll definitely have the schedule out on, on our Facebook group. Facebook group posts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of glad we have all of our locals out here uh, streaming. I feel like every local should at least have a stream. It's very hard to set up, I, I will admit. Um, but I think it's just worth highlighting our local boys. It costs money, costs time, costs gas. to like go out uh, to all these really cool attorneys out here, and I feel like uh, just having a stream at your local is just a good opportunity to get the word out. Boy here, look, still looking for a cord. He's looking for a cord. He can always borrow mine. I have a very nice cord. Uh, 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 my voice is going out. Absolutely, Combat Chemist. Absolutely. Um, it's not always possible, you know, to have a local stream. But if it is possible... I feel like it is always appreciated. Always is. All right, we're still, I think we have our uh, combatants for our next set sitting down. We're just getting uh, stuff set up. But uh, how's your day, chat? How are you doing today? Uh, I just got back uh, from class all the way up. Uh, it was like a 45-minute drive from my class straight over here. Uh, so I, I've been, you, it's uh, been a busy day for me. Where do you go to school? Oh, uh, I go to Weber. Weber, yeah. nice. Uh, I go to West Minnie for me. So. You go to where? West Minnie. Where's that? Oh, Westminster? Yeah, uh, Sugar House. Sugar House? That's also here, right? Yeah, that's uh, just uh, east from here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, my brother, he goes to the University of Utah, like right up the hill from here. There's a... Yeah, so we are in Salt Lake City, the capital of Utah. Uh, geographically speaking, just imagine a mountain. And then the mountain's like a half circle shape of the mountain. And in that is a city. And the University of Utah is like on top of that mountain. We just live too close to these mountains, I swear. Well, pretty close, yeah. Like on top of the valley, I'd say. 
Yeah, there's uh, it's definitely, yeah. So we'll see how this match goes. Um, we have, let's see. I'm looking Check forward to him. Uh, I think he, this Baraka player was one of my first matches today. Ooh. Oh yeah, it was on stream, yeah. I liked him a lot. What I'm excited most about player. Baraka is that Killer Croc skin. So. Oh, it's so good. Uh, you know, I actually feel a lot of Baraka's cosmetics are pretty bad, with some exceptions. Yeah, some exceptions, right? Um, like the skin from the uh, two seasons ago, whichever one that was, the one with Quan the Quan Chi skin, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. This Killer Croc one, it's a good one. Uh, all the other skins, not so good. Not so good. Uh, I actually kind of disagree with you because the Catwoman Katana and the Batman Who Laughs, uh, Noob Cybot, I think are probably, the, probably this is the best skin pack I've seen in this game, in my opinion. Look. You know, that Halloween skin pack, it was all right. It was all right, but I think they're really stepping it up with this one. Yeah, most definitely. I don't know if they release a skin series for every DLC character. I, I think so. I think the Halloween skins were released around the same time as Sindel or something. Somewhere near Somewhere it. I don't think it was yeah. around the same time, though, but... But, yeah, I think I like this rollout of skins a lot more than the last. Yeah. Just about every time, yeah. I'm hearing some audio. I think we're doing button checks at the moment. Yeah, I think uh, I think that noob cybot's gonna can't wait to see how, to, how like the intros work because it's just I'm excited for it. I might try out noob cybot because of that skin alone. You know, I tried. Look, I gave I tried uh, noob cybot for like a good five minutes. Like a, a solid five minutes. All right, Mr. Mew, Baraka player against TJ the Blind Gamer. All right. No, but I didn't. Listen, if Noob Cybot did a million hit long combo, then I'd be about him. I think I just need to try him again. You know, I'll try him out again when we get that new skin going. All right, TJ's back on the seat. All right, here we go. TJ versus versus Mr. Mew. I like both these characters actually. TJ versus Mr. Mew. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, like I said, uh, I met Mr. Mew at our last locals, and I think that was the first time we ever went to a locals. He's doing really well for this being one of his first. Like local local tourneys. I'm actually really proud of him. I'm proud of both of these guys. I like them both. I hope they do well. If I recall correctly, Mr. Mew plays on the Switch, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of surprised he, uh, if I recall correctly, he plays on Stick on the Switch. Uh, kind of surprised. I kind of want to just see him try the uh, the that's those weird Switch controllers, the nunchuck things. You're still button checking. <laughs> All right, I think we're getting started, guys. Yeah, we're nearly getting started with TJ versus Mr. Mew. Can't wait to see what both have in store here. Mm -hmm. I definitely think TJ will just stick with Scorpion. I think he's seen a lot of success with that. Mm. How do I feel Scorpion. about this matchup? Well, well, if that teleport is so good uh, for whiff punishing, I don't think we'll see a lot of whiffs from most Barakas, at least with this variation. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. My button was all weird when I played that one time. It was probably because it was from his button controls. That makes so much sense. Yeah, we're just making sure that everything is... Uh, so for the audio issues, the, all the audio is going towards uh, TJ's headset. So yeah. we can hear the sound cues. When stuff. TJ's on, it'll the audio will definitely be muted because he needs that headset audio. But if you hear any more audio issues when TJ's not on, please let us know, and we will try our best to fix it. All right, Barack has got him in the corner for this first round. There 
There you go. Trying to go for the interactable. Oh, box the overhead. All right, Rushing let's see this combo. New combo, combo. very sad. Oh, throw escape. The spin a Rooney. It's honestly a really, I'm pretty sure the only way you can combo up that crushing blow is with projectiles mid screen, but I do think there is a corner combo he could have done there. Oh, crushing blow to forward three right here. If they can do that, your sins, I'm definitely going to let uh, the TO know about that and see if we can get that arranged. If it, if it is possible, I'll definitely bring it up. Yeah, that's for uh, Thomas to figure out the audio issues. Not really an expert in that, but we'll see. Trying you can, uh, zoning right here. You can hear it? Trying to All go right. for the teleport, the crushing blow. And that will do it for round one. Mr. Mew. Mr. Thomas. Thomas. Mr. Mew, one zero. Okay, Mr. Mew has it, one zero. That was actually pretty good. It's It's probably hard for Scorpion in general to get out of this Brocket. This Brocket likes to be really, really up close. Yeah, he does, most definitely. There's not a lot of buttons uh, Scorpion can do, uh, except maybe a teleport, but even then, that teleport can be very easily stuffed by Baraka. He has some fast buttons. Yeah, we'll see how this goes That 4-2 right is eight one, frames, two. for example. That back four is four, like 14 two, frames. He's got some fast like stuffers for that teleport. So it's not safe exactly up close either. Uh, wake up. Crushing blow, trying to go for the wake up. Teleport. Oh, and catches him with the mid right here. And there's a crushing blow. All right, right he's going for these Mr. uppercuts. Trying to go for something. Mr. Mew looking a little brave with all these uppercuts. Oh, another crushing blow. Into the throw. Oh, that was a pretty good round. That was right, a pretty good round. good round by Mr. Mew. All right, I'll hold it down for now. All right, let's see what let's see what TJ can pull out here. TJ wants to get a good shot, then he's got to he's got to back up outside of those really fast buttons, so he can at least get the teleport out. If he can at least get the teleport out, then he's got a good shot. A lot of Scorpion's buttons are not fast enough against Baraka here. All right, that was a very convincing uh, game two for Mr. Mew here. He just got one more shot going straight right away to the rematch. All right, 2 0 for Mr. Mew. All right. Come on, TJ, you got it. I'll let this guy scare you. Forward four. Uh, both trying your crushing blow mm -hmm. right here. No, that is a very unsafe distance to be using that projectile. Wake up, spear spin. All right. All right, I'm about it. Look, that oh, spear spin comes out fast. It's actually not a bad wake up option, really. TJ has got to watch out for these forward fours. Dude, those are killing him right now. Match point for Mr. Mew. No, every time TJ gets in the corner, he is just in big trouble. He needs to get out of these. All right, come on, TJ. You need to get out of this corner. Come on. Okay, I think that uh, string is punishable, actually. Yeah. Crushing blow. That is come plus. Come on. Yeah, put that boy in the corner. Come on. Trying to go for the overhead. There Trying you go. to go into the spin, but it's it's not, it, not able to get in. That's the punish. I'm pretty sure with that spear spin on this variation of Baraka, it is oh, safe if you amplify that spear spin. Crushing blow. Oh, oh, that was time weird. to break out right there. Yeah, that was, I, that was a really oh, weird Oh, trying to go out. for the fatal blow and isn't able to punish it. Oh, able to get the string Come punished. on, TJ. You got oh, it. Oh, no. Shift that boy out. Come oh, on. able to catch him up no. guard. There's the fatal blow. Oh, Mr. man. Mr. Mew takes it 3-0 against TJ. Great job of Mr. Mew being able to catch all these whiffs. And Honestly, these. props to TJ for everything he's doing. Props to TJ, man. What a great job by TJ. Yeah, he had a great run. He was actually really good. Yeah, TJ. I'm so proud of this guy. We got to admire TJ for what he's been able to do in this uh, tournament right here. Proud of what he's been able to do with all <laughs> winning that set, sweeping uh, Henny. And um, even though this isn't the result that most of us wanted, we're still very proud of TJ, which what is he able to do in this tournament. So no, I know TJ had a good time here. His first and I hope he comes back. Yeah, his first tournament here at Quarters Arcade Bar. And Mr. Mew takes it. 
Free zero. But let's give it up for TJ. Yeah, Chad, gonna, TJ did a great job. And I give it up for TJ job. here. Give it up for TJ. Bless that man's heart. Bless him. My opinion, one of the most inspirational uh, Mortal Kombat players uh, today. Look, if TJ can beat a guy out here in local, you can come out here to your local and do the same. Don't be don't be too scared by your locals. None of these guys are mean. I promise. <laughs> Maybe some of us. Yeah, exactly. T TJ didn't make top eight. Are it's we at top eight right now? Uh, yeah, I think we are. Yeah. Oh, that means I'm in top eight. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. There's actually so many people that came out for MK11 uh, today. I was kind of surprised. I thought it was only going to be like eight people, but there were so many people that came through. Seen lots of rumors online, sorry. That this game is kind of dying, but... Uh, I think this game will keep going as long as another round uh, of people are in the game. I don't know about so. dying. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think this was his first local. He did. Yeah. He did really good. And, you know, you can only get better if you come to your locals with that kind of attitude. You yeah. only get better. DJ, Tom. He knows that he's gonna, you're going to play on the stream. Right now? Okay. All right. I'm up on stream next. I'll catch you guys. I'll be right yeah, back. up next. Good luck, man.